Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, here to do the show for you today. And just a few little bitty things here. Uh, blog talk is down again. So I'll be answering questions on um, in the YouTube chat. So if you're listening and you typically call in, uh, you might want to go to YouTube. That's going to be the way, best way to get your uh, question answered. And also, um, please don't get scammed. I'm not even streaming to Facebook today because there are so many. They be trolling, a trolling. Uh, there, there. So they be so many scammers that pop up when I um, go live and and use Facebook. So I, I'm not even doing that because then my whole week is just deleting and blocking those people. And I just, I, you know, I'm actually kind of a busy pe people. I'm kind of a busy people. I kind of, you know, people don't, I'm going to, I'm going to just say this. This is like the longest intro ever, but it's okay. I'm just going to go for it. Um, I actually do quite a few things. I, I have the show that I do twice a week and I host and promote and upload it to the TV stations. Um, it goes out to WSCS. WSCS snatches it for me. Thank you so much, Scott. And puts it on all of their stations. I, you know, download, upload to uh, Rude Rangers TV where they put it on all of their social media. So I have the TV show that I do twice a week and host it and so on and so forth. And then I have the social media and then the website and then, but then I also take um, clients and I do um, private sessions for um, hypnosis, for healings, and then for um, obvious, uh, readings, um, medium and psychic readings. And on top of that, there are uh, other things that I take care of with the business. And then I also work with one of my friends and I do uh, just so much stuff with that. So it's, it. I actually am a very, very busy person and I actually, um, I don't know where I was going with this, but oh yeah, I don't have time to to just kick trolls off of off of uh, uh, posts, and I don't I don't want to I don't want to. So I'm not going to stream on Facebook any longer. And they all, you know what the funniest thing I realized they all start out it's it's the same person or all of these different people have the same script that they just paste to people, it all starts off, oh, honey, oh, dear, or oh, whatever. I see there's negative energy around you. Mm, you're the only negative energy around me right now. Mm. So please, you know, don't get scammed. That's my very long thing for don't get scammed. Um, next, and since blog talk isn't up and running today, I'm just gonna take my time. I really am. I'm going to just take my time and not feel like I need to rush with anything. So the next thing I would want to say is I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. Uh, you can book private appointments. And again, I only have one, one website, T-O-N-I-G dot info. And so if you do want an appointment, that's the only way you, you can make that appointment. My private or my business number is on there. Um, what else should I say? This is the most boring part of the show. And whenever I start a show. I'm always full of nervous energy. You know what? I'm going to just go straight into a, uh, the eclipse. Today is the eclipse. Happy Eclipse Day. 
Um, and they've made such a big ado about this one. And I've uh, I've said so many times that, you know, when they're, don't be, don't be, how do I say this? Because uh, because here's the way I think I can say it best. Don't fall for the fear. Don't buy into the panic. No matter, you know, if they're, if our energy is fearful or low, it's very easy to manipulate. Stay happy, stay positive, stay in a good place. Today is one of the biggest manifesting days because it's a new moon. There's a lot going on. If we're in a state of fear, we can't manifest appropriately. So if you are a person who manifests, please stay in that really positive space to manifest. Listen, the way I would also say this, and please do not come for me or think I'm whatever. If it's a big doomsday, we're all going to go anyway. Don't, um, don't, um, worry about it. Don't panic. It's just going to happen. We don't have to like be all, oh my God about it, but it's, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. We might have an intense week, a lot of emotions, a lot of things coming up, but it's going to be fine. Um, I do feel like if you, there is something that you've been wanting to put put into the universe. I do it, but we do it with our heart. We do it with our happiness. We do it with our joy. And that's how it comes back the fastest. So don't buy into all the stuff they're putting out. Okay. Please don't just stay in that higher vibrational level and try to keep yourself there so you can um, bring in all the things you want, but also just, you know, so that it's, you have a better life. I think people in a higher vibrational level have better lives. Obviously, obviously, right? That's obvious. Okay. Uh, what should I do first? Names, songs, or channeling? What should I do, folks? Names, songs, or channeling? The first person to comment, well, that'll be what I do. Names, songs, or channeling. What do you guys think? What do you want me to do? Da -na -na -na. I'm going to go with um, uh, let's go with names because that's what I'm hearing. Oh, channel J. Francis. Hey, J. Francis. So happy to see you. Sorry about. I'm so happy you're here. So happy you're here. Um, okay, we're going to go channeling first because the first person who responded gets the, the thing. Okay, um, today we are going to channel... Today we are going to tell you that there are universal changes coming in. These universal changes will take you to a new level if you wish. Yes, veils are thinning, but only for those who care to look, feel, or understand this. The veil is the lining between the dimensions. I know you understand this as planets or planets, but it is actually planes and between each plane there is a veil. The veil will thin for those who are accepting and wanting. The mood you are in or the mind space you are in as the veil thins is the mind space of what you will see. If you are in a higher frequency and wanting to see the veils thinning or what is on the other side of the curtain, shall we say, 
you will be seeing higher frequency elements. If you are in a sad, scared, fearful place, you will be seeing the lower, low, lower frequencies and elements. So as you go into this space, please make sure that you keep your frequency and your energetic being high. You can do this through laughing, finding joy, and being happy in the moment for the moment. And in those moments, you will have dramatic shifts in your energetic being. If you cannot find something to be happy for in that moment, perhaps things are not going in the way that you think they should or the way that you wish they could. Think back to a time when everything was perfect in your life. Your cell memory will take you directly to that time of joy and happiness and you will feel that and your cell energy doesn't know the difference between the past the present and the future as you go back to the past to the happiest memory that you can pull up the happiest experience your cell memory system will be flooded with that in the what you call now as it's flooded with it your frequency and your energetic being will be elevated and brought up even higher if you do this two to three times a day we would like for you to do it two to three times in an hour if you are not feeling a high frequency at this time if you are feeling depleted or depressed we would like you to do this as often as you can also, if you go back to a time when you felt your strongest, your most vibrant, your at your peak, even if this is a time in childhood and you recall that, your cell memory will fill with that again into your current cell being. Many times when people have nostalgia, you can literally see their facial expression change, but their face changes also. And they have that being, that essence of that time immersed within them. But then when they come back to what they consider the now or the reality, they lose that. If you can hold that as your being, it will be your being. It is imperative at this time that you reach your highest frequencies and energetic possibilities as possible. Universal veils are thinning. And with this, you have choice as you've always had choice. You have the ability to choose what choice to make. Make choices from the highest space possible for the highest space possible. Thank you. Okay, you guys, that's what they have to say to you today. I love that. I'm actually going to go back and listen to that. I think that's really imperative and really beautiful. Um, I am going to allow people to call in to my uh, business phone. Oops, my business phone. And um, and ask questions but you can only call in one at a time because well it's not like blog talk where you can sit and wait and i can only take one caller at a time anyway but i'm gonna start with a question on on the chat um here we go i think this this is a good question i haven't read it yet um hi tony thanks for helping out with my father's apartment in china you are welcome things happen just as you predicted and we are in the process of getting the key back hmm. they're always right they are always right we got our neighbor very angry because we wait 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 because what because what wait wait where's the next one okay 
Uh, wait, we're in the middle of a story. We can't leave it now. We caught him. Let someone occupying the place without our permission. <gasps> mm. Mm. Just wanted to know if this apartment still able to be sold to our neighbor or someone else. Is it going to sell? I think what you're asking is if the if the apartment is going to be sold to the neighbor or someone else. And then we're going to go here. Currently, this is a continuation of that one, I believe. Currently, the apartment is under heavy restriction by the officials. We are not sure if the neighbor had some bad influence over this matter. Okay, Julie, um, we need to book a session. Uh, if we need to book a session, let me know. Okay, Julie, um, uh, what I'm going to give you the best possible. I'm 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 going to give you the best possible answer I can. Okay, so um, is. <clears throat> Okay, I have to go back to the question. Is still going to be able to be sold? Okay, is is this going to be able to be? Yes, it's going to be sold. Is the neighbor going to buy it? Somebody else. Somebody else is going to buy this property. The neighbor's not going to buy it, nor is the neighbor going to be able to buy it. If the neighbor, the neighbor, <clears throat> the neighbor, I'm going to say this in a way that I'm hearing it. The neighbor kind of hijacked it and did this to strong arm you to manipulate or strong arm to get what they wanted. It's not going to work. Um, I do feel like you are, it's going to be a little bit sticky and challenging and you do need all of the appropriate paperwork and you will get through it. And the, the neighbor is going to be in trouble, which is going to be very, very not good for the neighbor, um, not easy trouble either. It will be trouble, trouble. And let's just put it this way. If an official was involved, that official will also be disgraced and in a lot of trouble. Um, but eventually, it's going to take a moment. Be patient. It will be able to be sold uh, sooner than you think, but not as not as quickly as you would like is what I'm hearing. Just make sure you are uh, doing everything uh, by the book and appropriately, and you are going to be very happy with your results. That's what I am getting for you, my love. If someone would like to call in and ask a question, let me rise. You're going to be the next question I post. If somebody would like to call in and ask a question, the call in number today and only today is 414-897-2869. The first person to call in is the call I'll take. And when that comes in, I'll let you know. If it comes in while I'm answering a question, uh, you're welcome, Julie. While I'm answering a question, I will, um, you know, take the call, have them have you wait, and then I will continue to answer the question just in case. Because this, you know, when blog talks down, it's a little bit different. And everybody expects to be able to just go to blog talk and call in. So the people here in YouTube land are just used to posting questions, which is A-OK. -okay. OK, uh, let me rise. You have risen. OK, I think I'm funny. I'm sorry. You know what, you guys? I didn't even do names and questions. The channeling had me so like, whoo, I didn't even do names or questions. OK, sorry about that. Um, I had a song lyric playing on loop. Oh my gosh, let me rise. Isn't that like the craziest thing? I'll tell you in a second. Um, playing on loop in my head over the over a few days. 
And I had a feeling that I belonged. I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone. Can you please tell me the message from spirit? Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's, that is, is I, I want to make sure, let me rise. I think, and I had a feeling that I belonged. I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone. Those are the lyrics that were, were playing, correct? If those are the lyrics that were playing, please let me know. Um, they're letting the, the message I'm getting for you is reach higher. You can do exactly what you are wanting to do. Don't hold back. This isn't a time for holding back. Um, I don't think this is a song or maybe it is. I'm hearing it in a song lyric. I'm hearing reach for the sky, like reach for the sky. I can't sing like that. I can't sing at all, but reach for the sky. Please hold. Um, and allow yourself to be in that space where you have no limits whatsoever. Let me rise. That's the message I have for you. Um, I, I have a caller, so let's, I hope it's a caller. It could be, it could be, it could be a, uh, like a, a telemarketer too, but I don't think so. Thank you. Let me rise. Let's go here. What's your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> The connection's terrible. Oh, I'm I, there's. I'm sorry. There's not a lot I can do about that. I'm having so much technical yeah. difficulty today. I can't even send yeah. out texts right now, sweetie. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, yeah, I'll, I'll get. I'll maybe just put a question in the chat because of. Okay. I don't want to miss anything that you say. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Um, so you guys, listen, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's literally my phone, um, or if it's <clears throat> something else, but even sending out text messages, it's saying they're not delivered. It's just a crazy, crazy, crazy day right now. Crazy day right now. Okay, Lynn Marie, I don't see a question from you, but it says thank you. So I don't know if you asked a question, Lynn. If you did, please let me know. Um, okay, you're welcome though. Uh, Amy, Amy, is this Amy? Yep. All the same about High School Musical. We're all in this together. Okay, yeah, these are messages from angels um, telling you, like letting you know. And uh, you know, that it's so funny, you guys, for Lemmy Rise and Amy who are asking this and everybody else who's getting this, the message I keep getting to, it's not a song, but typically they do connect to me in song, but the message I keep getting, there's no red, there's no blue anymore. There's no right, there's no left anymore. Um, there's no de D E M or R E P there. It's one bird and the wings are getting closer. Okay. Um, it's an illusion they use to keep us. You got to keep them separated. Um, Hey, Hey, um, and it, so the, what they're, if they can keep the peeps separated, it's us against us instead of us coming together and realizing what, what's going on, what's going on. Okay, thank you for using music. It makes it easier. Um, so, if I said to you guys, you have absolutely no enemy except for the, if I just said there, there are no enemies, there are no whatever you would say, but this person, yes. Okay. I get that. But let's go past that to a place of non-conflict and a place of non um, oopsie, sorry, Ani, you're going to obviously be next. 
um, a place of non-conflict and a place of knowing that oh, it, we are one, whatever is going on in our head is what shows up in front of us. So if we have inner conflict, outer conflict shows up. If whatever it is, that's where that is. And I could go on about this for days, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys because you've heard it all before from other, other um, seers and other channels. And the idea is to get to the place of peace within you, okay? Alrighty, Ani, A-N-I. Hi, I have been waiting for someone to come and initiate contract with me and propose when do you think this is going to happen okay Annie, i need to ask a question what is the the way this this comment is written i'm not sure if this is work or relationship can you please clarify that for me love um just go i'm gonna scroll all the way down and wait for your comment if you could please let me know because initiate a contract could be a work contract um initiate and propose propose always sounds like marriage to me so any if you can uh if you can let me know uh exactly what that means i would be happy to answer that uh julie you're welcome hey mo how are you i hope everything's going well for you um okay i had a question before about a relationship and your advice helped me process we are no longer together but the messages from spirit were helpful is there any message for our healing yeah here let me do a clearing and this is really you guys this is at the um 27 minute mark of the show and i'm just gonna say let's um let's clear any and all hurt pain suffering has healed cleared release let's pull that out and then let's do um i've let go of all from this situation you can say relationship and i get a no so let's clear that all that cost and kept this we're going to clear that and i know that a lot of times when we leave a relationship we're not ready for the next one where where we want a next one but we want to get past the hurt and pain before we jump into something else uh like i can't imagine for me personally I can't imagine trying to be happy with someone else when I'm still sad about one person. I can't, I'm not, like if I've broken up with someone and I really cared about that person, I couldn't just like, and it's not wrong if you can, if you can, you're probably more functional than I am. Um, I wanna process all those unhappy feelings. I wanna uh, like be healthy um, and not sad before I move on to the next thing, because I don't I don't want to take that into the next relationship. First of all, and second, I don't want to um, be thinking about somebody else while I'm laying with a new person. I don't know. Anyway, so let's let everything go, and I'm going to tell you in June you're going to have the potential to meet somebody new and have a new relationship start now i always say potential because um it's your choice you don't have to you don't have to go into something new you could take more time for yourself but that june and into july time is a time when people will be gravitating toward you and um you're going to have the option to start new relationships with friends, but especially with a partner. And the relationship with the partner is gonna be significant. And it will be 
uh, something that will help you learn and grow with and in love. Now, here's something I had to learn to put out or I've had, as we all have, we've all had relationships that have been um, maybe not the best, strongest relationships. They taught us to love ourselves. Every relationship is to teach you to love yourself because everything here is about self-love. If you can unconditionally love yourself, not in that egoic way, but in that way that I know who I am, I'm not better than or worse than anyone, but I am me and I love who I am. I love what I do. Um, even if you can't love your daily work, if you love everything about you, that's what this is about. Now, when you allow someone to come in that is not respectful, that is not loving, that is not kind, that is not caring, you can make excuses for that person because of their past and what they've been through and and their, their exes, but then you're compromising your own self-love. And it took me a minute to get this. It took me a minute to understand, but oh, I'm trying to, you know, I'm I'm trying to be understanding. No, the, the key is to no matter what, never let anybody compromise how you feel about you. Never let anybody make you feel less than, or never let anyone, um, and I the terms I'm using might not be the best, never let anyone come in and let that love you have for yourself diminish in any way. Even if that person is hurt or has bad experiences, we all do. So what I had to learn to ask for was to learn love in a different way. I had learned since I was a born uh, love in this way from dysfunctional whatever situations, which many of us have. I'm not claiming a badge on that. We've all been through it. Um, but now I say, now bring me somebody who ate loves love like I do because I just love love oh my god I love love bring me someone who is kind and caring and able to behave in a kind and caring and loving way and express love and if that doesn't exist that's okay because I have plenty of love for me and again not in that egoic way so please know that in June you're going to have that opportunity come into you pick wisely choose wisely choose wisely that is what they are saying Okay. Okay. I have come down to the bottom relationship. Okay. Ani, Ani asked the question, when is a contract going to come in for love and possibly a proposal made? Now, Ani, 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 I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Please know you are going to have this person come in in may and i'm hearing the song it takes two it takes two baby me and you so it's good if if either one of you are not bringing something to the table don't don't participate um it's okay to walk away you need to be in a situation where both of you are bringing equal things to the table, okay? Just know that. Uh, uh, let me rise, said this makes a million percent sense. Tony, you are amazing, thank you. Absolutely my pleasure, absolutely my pleasure. Um, the next question, oh uh, yeah, you guys, it's not, you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys, there's so much going on this week. The eclipse, the new moon, Mercury's in retrograde. Planets are conjuncting on Wednesday, I think. So just be patient this week. No matter what happens, be patient. Okay. Um, oh, uh, Lynn Marie, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go to, I'm, I'm looking for the next question. So many people are in the chat just having great conversations and i absolutely love that and um 
Uh, thank you, Jay Francis. Uh, yeah, Jay Francis is asking for my higher and better. Let's see, I think this is a question. Okay, is asking for my higher and better, Hi, is asking, <laughs> this is why I didn't go to college, folks, because <laughs> I can't read a sentence. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is asking for my highest and best a cop-out? No, never, never, never. Um, am I just too lazy to... <laughs> think about what I really want. No, 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 absolutely not. Okay. So here's the thing. When we ask for what is in our highest and best for us, we are saying, you might know something I don't know. I might be trying to push my boat down this river, but I'm really, if I go down this river, the boat will just flow on its own. Um, so asking for the highest and best of what is supposed to come to you or the highest and best possible is a beautiful statement because you're allowing, you know, angels, God, whatever you believe in, to come and bring you what is meant for you in the best possible way. And I, sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll say, okay, listen, <laughs> I've asked for A a million times since I was 20 and A is not being delivered. So bring me what you think I'm supposed to have. And that that's a beautiful thing, Jay Francis. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, Okay, let's see what. Okay, Rebecca has a question. Rebecca, this weekend at work, I had a customer. Her name was Raquel. I told her that's my mother's name. She's like a mother's. Uh, she's like my mother's name is Rebecca. I, I'm sorry, I need to read this over here. Um, I know everybody has read it three times already, and I'm still trying to get through the first sentence. This weekend at work, I had a customer. Her name was Raquel. Oh my gosh, that is, okay, I finally got it. The, the customer, they, each had their mother's other name. That's so awesome. What a beautiful little, little um, thing, Rebecca. That's awesome. Um, those are little signs and synchronicities that are pure sweetness for us. I, I, be I believe that. Uh, okay, I'm going to take a break from this reading and answering questions because I want to do songs today. So I'm going to I'm going to go back to questions, don't worry. Um and I am going to go back to um oops, I don't want to lose my spot. I am going to go back to questions, but I want to do songs because songs can be uh their messages, they're either answering a question, telling you your purpose, helping you along your way what you should do next. Or they can be a song your loved one loved, you love, listen together, or um, you just know it's a message from your loved one. And one song can be for so many people. So the first song that I'm getting is Row, Row, Row Your Boat, Gently Down the Stream. Okay, that's the first song. The next song is, um, and sometimes it's a it's a statement. Um, so I'm just gonna go with whatever comes out. If we had more time together, I would have shown you the entire world. That's that's a statement. I think that's a statement for someone. And then I'm hearing the name Robert. 
the next thing I'm hearing or the next song I'm hearing is uh, it's it's a uh, you don't believe me just watch you don't believe me just watch Woo! I think it's is that uptown funk I don't know if that's uptown funk somebody let me know um the next song is um live and let die the next song is <sighs> take it to the limit one more time the next song is or uh yeah the next song is make me a believe make me a believer that song and then the next song is um let me in um the next one i'm only gonna do one more everybody the next one is uh as soon as i said that somebody just pushed their way right to the front and said this one uh because there were like four different songs playing at once um wise men say only fools rush in but i can't help falling in love with you um and we all know who that is so yes that's that okay uh Okay, here we go. I'm going on a cruise in three, uh, I'm going on a three day cruise. I'm nervous about it being the middle of ocean, any message? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Um, be, just go and have fun, enjoy it. Don't worry about it, just, have fun okay don't try to sneak alcohol in no matter how you try to sneak alcohol onto the cruise they catch it because <laughs> no. when they they have you drop off their bags and they have super sniffers or super people going through every ounce of your bag when you drop them off so if you think oh i'm going to put it in a shampoo and conditioner bottle nope if you think i'm going to put it in this and this canteen and they won't know nope they open everything and they go through it they they will find your alcohol if you try to sneak it in all right just on that how do i know does that really matter i know a lot of people who cruise that's how i know <laughs> um hey heather how are you uh heather wants to know where should i go on vacation for my birthday what well, happy birthday heather happy birthday um heather go someplace you love <laughs> that's the first thing i'm hearing um i'm hearing you should go someplace warm i hear stay in country rather than out but someplace warm and someplace where you can have fun that's what I'm hearing for you, love. Um, that's what I'm hearing. I hope that's helpful. Uh, what kind of e-commerce business should I open? Elizabeth, narrow that down for me. Give me some options. Um, you guys, I'm happy you have so much faith in me. Sometimes I can get it. I'm going to tell you, when I take calls, I can tap into the energy so much more when I'm doing just reading the questions. There's so much energy coming at me and it's a little bit different. Um, so please be patient with that. I wish blog talk was, you know, open and um, I could take calls right now, but uh, if I'm I'm gonna go to the next one. That song Uptown that was Uptown Funk. Um thank you, Molly Mo Mo. Thank you, Mo. Um Oh, so if I went, went further down, she said, I want to go to the beach, but I have no clue where. Uh, yeah, 
uh, Florida is good. Florida would be really good. Stay away from Tennessee. Don't go to Texas. And this is just for you personally that I'm testing on. Don't do anything west coastal. Don't go west coastal. Go east and down south. South. Go south. Um, even, you know, one place I'm hearing might be fun, but not as fun as you would want it to be, would be Georgia to vacation in Georgia for you would be okay. Um, not Tennessee. Um, I get a yes on Georgia, a yes on Florida. I get a yes on any place else, <laughs> Georgia or Tennessee. Um, not Atlanta though. Not Atlanta. Don't go to Atlanta. If you go to Georgia, not Atlanta. Go someplace that is uh, has is not Atlanta. Uh, any place else? Is she no no. Those are the two. I would. Those are the two. They're giving me a solid yes on. So that is what I would say for you. Um, okay. Okay, uh, I am going to say this. Where are we on time-wise? Okay, I have about, I have a little bit of time left. So if you have a question, please post it. I'll be, I'll be happy to um, answer that question. Um, if I missed your question, please post it. I will get to your question. I think I've answered all the questions today in the chat. I could be wrong. Probably am. Oh, yep. Yeah. You're welcome, Heather. You're so welcome. So the person who asked about the e-commerce business, I'm going to go back up to you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, if you're still with us, tell me some of the things you're thinking and I'll tell you which one is the best. E-commerce covers a lot of area. I mean, there's, there's now, if I'm getting this correctly, e-commerce covers everything from TikTok shop to Amazon to Walmart to um, eBay to, there's so many different things. And then on top of that, there's so many different ways to do e-commerce. I've I somehow, I'm on this loop of people they're okay, you guys. Listen to this. I'm. We're going to talk about businesses right now and what you can do for businesses. So, I saw this video of this woman who has a cart, a little cart, uh, like a a cart. It's not a truck. It's a cart, and she has all the charcuterie stuff on it, and little plastic containers with individual spots in them. And people come up and she gives them, she makes them charcuterie boards in this plastic container. And she's busy from the time she shows up till the time she goes. Now that's ingenious. That's somebody who saw something trending charcuterie boards and said, you know what? I'm just gonna take a cart to a park and start charcuterieing up everybody. I'm going to say this again, if you, can build a uh what is it called it's it's like what a a, tr a a thing what i know the name of this a portable bar and start booking events if you can't build one ha or have somebody build one for you you can order something that will fit your need for a portable bar and start booking for private events Another thing, I saw this this weekend, it's crazy. Um, people literally go and they're on a live video and they're at a store, whatever store, and they're shopping, showing everybody on the other end of the live what's at the store and then picking it up and the people send them the money right away. You could be an a live shopper, a live shopper. Like, 
I'm going to tell you, and, and they're doing it at not only like at stores like um, TJ Maxx, they're doing it at thrift stores, they're doing it at estate sales. So even if they make sure they have the money before they check out, and then uh, they they sh the shipping and everything is included in the price, and then they purchase it. Now the girls doing this at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, I want to say kudos to you. Because for every, if you have the card, you get all this bonus money that you can use there. That is in freaking genius. That's bonus on bonus. Seriously. If you see something, just run with it. Run with it. So uh, let's see. Olga is Ken R. My person. Let's find out. Is Ken our Olga's person? <sighs> Olga, uh, are the two of you together? I get a yes, uh, like a soft yes that you're together now, um, but not the way you want to be. Uh, please confirm that for me. I feel like someone else is going to be coming in for you. Um, if you two are together, I'd be interested to know how long. Just because of what I'm hearing. Once you answer those two questions, I can tell you the rest, Olga. Um, how long have you been? And if you were on the phone with me, I'd be answering. I'd be asking these same questions just because of what I'm hearing. Uh, two months. Okay. Thank you, Olga. I'm going to, I'm going to sneeze and then I'm going to answer. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Olga, here's what I'm hearing. And I thank you for letting me know that this is so much easier to say. It's not easy, but it's easier to say for someone who's been with someone for two months, not that you don't have feelings than somebody who's been with someone, let's say for two years. Um, no, he's not your person. And let me explain. I know that by this point in the relationship, we're typically pretty like, oh, you know, trying to visualize a future with this person. And here's what I'm going to say to you. There's something about this person that you're not aware of. I feel like I'm hearing the word addiction. It's an addiction. If you are aware this person has this particular addiction, you're not aware how bad this addiction is. You, you're you not um, seeing the whole picture of the addiction yet. This, it, like, let's just, I, I'm not going to give a for example, because you're going to know if this is accurate. The next thing I'm hearing is he is, he also, you may not know this yet, but one of the things I'm hearing is anger, anger, anger. Either he has some anger inside of him or he gets angry pretty quickly and easily or might have a temper about certain things. And this might have something to do with the addiction that he has. Um, or they could be two completely separate issues. There is something you're going to see within the next week, possibly. Don't take it when you see these things. Don't think, oh, it was just a one-time thing. Oh, it was you know, whatever. No, 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 no. This is the tip of the iceberg. The rest is about to come up. And you're go it, as this person gets more comfortable with you, you're going to see more of it. So please don't. Um, don't. Now, the good news is if it's good news to you. Oh, she says, I felt that already. That's why I haven't slept with him. Oh, so good for you. Um, that's so good for you. Let me tell you by Chemistry, chemical wise, by the third time women are intimate with men, we are bonded and in love with them. This is how we fall in love with those guys that nobody, they're like, what does she see in him? <laughs> what the heck is she doing? Why is she doing it? And this is why, because uh, because of our, our hormones, our hormones make us, well, it's like a genie. You get three times and then it's done for life. Um, 
I'm sorry, don't. Yeah, in a month, somebody new is going to come in. That person's going to be better, but I'm going to tell you, in a month, somebody else is going to come in. But in July, Olga, July, July. Thank you, Rebecca. July is when you're going to meet somebody substantial. When I say substantial, this person has the opportunity, the potential to be somebody very important, very strong in your life somebody who can be a much better person to you, help you grow and learn in love, self-love and other love, a give an equal give and take relationship. And, you know, when I'm talking to someone and I'm here, I, the tone in me um, and the energy I feel tells me how it's going to be. So talking about the first guy was very, mm, mm, uh, uh, you know, talking about this guy uh, that's coming in in July, very calm, very comfortable, able to get out full sentences and speak without hesitation. This is going to be a much more mature person, a very mature person. Please know that. Um, blessed girl. Hey, thanks for joining the show. Hello, question. Who is coming towards me in my love life in the near future? You are single. Thank you for being uh, very exact on your question. Blessed girl, I'm just checking the time here. I'm going to do this as quickly as I possibly can. Blessed girl, I'm going to tell you this. You have somebody coming in in September that is going to be a significant person. This person has the opportunity to help you I'm, I'm I, okay. I should just say what I'm hearing, but um, <clears throat> okay. Escape your past relationship types. Tell me if that makes sense, blessed girl. Put it in the comments. Um, if you've had relationships that have been same guy or same person, different, same person, different body, same, same personality. Um, this person is going to help you escape that type, meaning it's going to be a whole new type of personality coming in. Um, and again, when I tap into the person coming in in September, it's a calm, peaceful energy. It's somebody that's elev elevated and can elevate. And if you, if you are good with that I want to say if you can if you can hang with that I don't know that's a weird way to say it but um <clears throat> this person will help you uh incline go up is the way they're saying it to me thank you so much for your question I am going to say this I'm going to say if we we need to look for people who are respectful and working out of spirit, not spiritual, like, oh, la, la, la. Like, they're not working out of ego. And ego says, I can have this, I can have that. Um, where spirit says, I'm allowed to be here, so I'm going to be here. Ego wants everything. Spirit wants what's best. I, I, I'm giving really kind of choppy, quick definitions to this, but that is what it is. So please, when you're looking for anybody looking at a relationship, and I'm going to do a quick clearing of um, anything stopping or blocking us from healthy, loving relationships are now cleared. Find somebody who's respectful first, both ways, and no ego is coming to the table. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. I'll be back Wednesday at 7 p.m.